<clears throat> One sec. <laughs> it's good. Make sure I'm not sat on it. You're right. Yeah. I think so. Hi guys. I'm Dom Sabine. This is Ryan Bailey, and we're from Street Star Studios. We recently had the pleasure of working with a fantastic artist by the name of Ian Lawton. Um, I uh, had the honour of writing a music video for his original song, Demons, and uh, it went really well. <laughs> it did, yeah. Um, basically, oh, sorry, Ryan was the uh, cameraman and editor. Uh, one of the, one editors, of the editors, yeah. I should say, Kat. Yeah, um, don't give me full credit. <laughs> yeah, no. Kat, um, who probably isn't on any of the behind the scenes what you're about to watch because she was doing them. She was uh, probably the, the major contributor with regards to the edit. It was directed by Sophia, who you'll see in a moment. And Demons is basically um, a song to raise awareness about the issues surrounding mental health. And what can I say? It was an amazing experience for everybody. everybody well, everybody worked really hard at it. And... Um... As you'll... For something that uh, you know, has such a negative impact on, on everybody's lives, um, everyone that was a part of the production, and there was a 46 person strong sort of cast and crew, there was a lot of people involved uh, from you know, makeup artists and runners and grips and gaffers and <laughs> riggers and all sorts of people. Uh, they'd all been at some point affected by um, you know, the issues surrounding mental health. And to see that amount of people come together and turn something that is predominantly a negative uh, issue in life into a positive was was really an amazing sort of feat you know so congratulations to everyone for for being involved you know thank you to to you all for for helping out and more so to you Ian uh, for for letting us get involved and and doing it with you <coughs> the video and um <laughs> yeah so the video has already been released, which you've probably watched or haven't. If you haven't, go give it a watch and uh, give it a share. We all, we all worked really hard in it, as Dom said himself then. Um, and I think it's amazing to see what um, each and every one of us has sort of put into it during the days of filming, the production, the edit, and getting to see the final outcome. And just knowing that we've all put this together and we've all worked really hard in it. And, um, the whole process has been, it's, yeah, been it's, great. Yeah, it's, it has. It's been great. It all ran smoothly as well. And um like Dom said then, you know, thank you to everyone that was involved and we all worked really hard. Yeah, and when we say thank you, we actually really mean thank you because a lot of people donated the time. I know one makeup artist, I'm not going to mention any names, but one makeup artist actually, uh, the makeup artists were working for free. One of them had a £700 pound, uh, three uh, per day uh, job for three days and they uh, had to turn it down because they'd already said yes to this. So, you know, just the... The um, commitment from from everybody was ph phenomenal, mm. and obviously it's it's for a great cause. Well, it, well, not a great cause. What can you say? Like, it's you know, it's it for is a, a great cause. Well, yeah, you know, I suppose it is. Yeah, it's you know, it's obviously to raise awareness, and it's obviously a touching subject for many of us. And we tried to do it in a way that you know everyone could relate to, uh, because at the end of the day, whether it's uh, alcohol or drugs or you know any form of sort of addiction, everyone has the demons. It's just not letting them sort of ruin you yeah. and get to you. Which well done to Ian, I think that song's absolutely amazing. I think just the way it was wrote, how it sounds, you know, put together, especially with the video to watch with it. I just think it's a, it's, it was a great song and um, what, a, what a great final outcome that we've managed to produce with it. Yeah, I'm happy with the, uh, mm. the video. Could have done with a bit more time on it, Ian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ian. But, but no, no, it was, um, it was a really great experience all around. I'm not going to give shout outs to anyone because you know there's going to be credits at the end of this you make sure you watch them and pay attention nobody watches credits anymore yeah and they but, go the, the credits go past really slowly as well yeah, so there's no really reason deserve, why they really deserve acknowledgement yeah, there's no reason why you can't read it you know like, not like movie credits where the credits just go quick like that um what else <clears throat> cut that bit out. so if you get a moment um please feel free to follow uh, Ian on Facebook and all his social medias. It, you know, Demons is just one of uh, an array of, of original songs that he's working on. I'm sure that a lot of people can relate to a lot of the lyrics in his in his music. So, yeah, make sure you uh, check him out. He's like very that. good. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to watch the behind the scenes. Unfortunately, on set, we didn't have any time to get in front of the behind the scenes camera. So, because no one knows, we're, we're very busy, aren't we, all the time? So, or at least he pretends to yeah, be. Yeah, well, shh, told you not, told you not to say that in this.
<laughs> so anyway, here's a little look at how it went and uh, we hope that you enjoy it. And if you haven't already seen the video, make sure you check it out after this uh, because it'll make more sense. <laughs> You'll know what it's about. And um, yeah, thank you very much. <sighs> trying to hold that in for ages, I need to hold sneeze. Away. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm there, huh? <laughs> I'm Sophia, but my real name's Rachel. So anyone that doesn't know me, I'm called Sophia here. But I'm also called Rachel. Um, I run Sophia Management, and I am directing the music video for Ian. So today's shoot's gone absolutely fantastic. Everyone turned up on time. We had plenty of extras for the bar scenes. The demons were spot on. Um, I think we're on time as well, which is always a good thing. And um, now we're just going to enjoy it buffet until we move on to scene four of the day, I think.
Dima make up again today, so um, it's all of them have come in, so it's pretty busy downstairs in the makeup room. Kevin, you're not. I'm Mark Simpson, I'm a. Uh, you're a rigger. A rigger, yeah. And I'm Gary, and I'm another rigger as well. I need to pop it in every now and again just to tell you what I'm doing. Hi, my name's Dean. Uh, Ian invited me to come down. I could never turn him down. And uh, I'm, here, I'm a demon. I've been here Tuesday, Thursday, so two full days. Looking forward to throwing him off the roof later on. I'm absolutely overwhelmed with it. Uh, I can't believe the amount of uh, support that everybody's shown and loved. You know, a lot of people have given up, well, everybody's given up the, the time and effort. So my name's Ryan Bailey, I'm the uh, videographer and editor. What are you laughing at you? Three, two, one, action! Yeah, when I was, uh, I've just turned 18, I lost my mum the year before, and, uh, and I tried cocaine once. And over the following, the next 20 years after trying it, um, I picked up a serious habit, and I was doing up to or more than 50,000 pounds a year on it every year. And I'm two years clean on September the 15th this year. And since quitting, it's the best thing I do. I now help people with addictions, uh, with well-being, with anxieties, depressions, etc. For sure, it, to, to help my past in a positive way, it's been amazing because I've been able to open up and I feel I can help people with their addictions and with the actual cast of this and what's happening. I think it's amazing because it's a, making a massive awareness. And with the demons, it's good that I was the cocaine because I was a drug dealer in the past and everything as well. So when it can help people, it, when it will help people. Currently, I'm, um, I don't usually look like this, by the way, it needs to be said. Currently I'm starting this podcast, it's um, all sort of centred around mental health. Known Ian for over a decade. We have plans prior to a single launch to get together with a couple of other individuals who have not only suffered with mental health previously, but would like to be advocates of positivity and how music can sort of be help you with the pros uh, prosperity to stop you from struggling alone. Ian's been a good friend of mine for a long time, love him to pieces, and when he asked me to dress up like a demon and try to throw him off the roof, I had no choice. So, uh, looking forward to finishing the rest of the project. Can't wait to see it. With mental health being such uh, a big thing at the minute, um, people are suffering in silence, and hopefully with what we've done, it's gonna help people get that help they need. I'm Christine, Christine Wright, and I have a business called Habit Breakers, which is an inspirational movement for helping people to break away from unhealthy habits like alcohol and drugs. I feel that, you know, being through that journey, completely understand how it affects mental health, um, regardless of what addiction it is that you do have. Um, and I'm just 110% fully support of what's going on today. Hi guys, I'm Dom Sabine of Street Star Studios and this week uh, my team and I have had the privilege of um, working on a, a production that's quite um, you know close to home for a lot of people. Um, obviously Ian and uh, Hello. for a song entitled Demons, um, which you're all probably going to watch straight after this, or the music video at least. Um, Hope you like it, and Ian's going to tell you a little bit about the backstory and uh, what led into 
to the creation of, of the song. Yeah. yeah, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a full-time singer. Um, what there's um, the one of the main stresses with with our job is constantly wearing a mask. Uh, but it's a very people pleasing job. It can be quite demanding. Don't get me wrong. I feel very lucky to do what I do. But uh, last year there was a lot of uh, circumstances, family troubles, and what have you. And in a nutshell, I uh, I had a breakdown. Uh, leading up to the breakdown, I was self medicating with with alcohol, uh, a bit of drugs as well, uh, which I'm not proud of. Uh, but I'm now in recovery. A bit of a hole in the soul with my mental health. Um, always been on and off antidepressants, but once a few other circumstances come into the mix, I just I just lost myself, um, and I found myself in a really, really, really dark place. Uh, and to put on top with the responsibility of my son and my wife and people depending on me. I made, well, it wasn't just me, I, um, I was going to meetings and stuff to, um, for a long time, wasn't telling anybody about it. It felt like a dirty little secret, you know, like I was trying to get sober on my own for a bit and I had two separate lives. I had like the fellowship and then they had like my friends and I wasn't telling anybody. So I made the decision to go public with it. Uh, after I'd been in treatment late last year um, and it was a tough decision uh, but I'm so glad I did it now you know it feels free and everybody knows that you know there's nowhere to hide for me anymore it's it's it was uh, one of the best decisions probably saved my life doing that we're about to shoot one of the last scenes of um, the production after what four days four, on set? Four long days it's been amazing <laughs> though it's been an experience hasn't it? Yeah you're even in, you're for, in for a treat even for me, you know, we do this quite often and um, this one has been particularly special. I think all the crew, I'd like to thank you all from, from the bottom of Absolutely, my Absolutely, yeah. Um, a lot of people involved have, have come and, and um, volunteered their time and their talents uh, for, for nothing, just for the sheer fact that, you know, the, the subject and um, we, we can't be more grateful for that. There, mate. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited about the end of this. We're nearly there. I don't mean the end of the road, I mean the end of the production. It meant the end of the road. <laughs> Please stop smoking. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. We're done. We're done. Yeah. Yep. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you. Yeah. Jesus. We're not running Cheers, in anymore. guys. <laughs> we need motorbikes. Want me to go? Good. Mike? Yep. Do you know what your job is now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh
Every 90 minutes in the UK, a life is lost to suicide. It doesn't discriminate, touching the lives of people in every corner of society, from the homeless and unemployed to builders and doctors, reality stars and footballers, anyone. It's the biggest killer of people under the age of 35, more deadly than cancer and car crashes. Men are three times more likely to take their own life than women, yet it's rarely spoken of, a taboo that threatens to continue its deadly rampage unless we all stop and take notice. For these reasons, the following production pulls no punches. The aim is that by sharing an unmediated representation, raising awareness and breaking down the barriers people face when talking about their mental health, we can all do our bit to help save lives. Let's all vow to ask for help when we need it and listen out for others. Everyone has their demons.
Hi, I'm Ian Lawton and I need help.